Apple has just released iOS 18.2 Beta 1. Remember that when the iPhone was announced, they told wonders about the artificial intelligence it would have. But then at launch, we realized that it didn't actually include any of these features and that they would come later with updates. Well, this is one of them, although it is still in a beta stage, but if you are enrolled in the beta program, you can install and download this update on your iPhone to try some of these features, although most are only available in English and in some regions. But let me tell you about the things that were activated with this update. For starters, there is a new app called Image Playground, through which you can create images with a simple text prompt, similar to other artificial intelligence tools, but in this case for Apple. Moreover, it is not only available as an app, but also as an additional tool in the Messages and Mail app. Support for Genmojis is also added. Remember that this is a new generation of emojis through which Apple allows you to create custom emojis simply with a text command. And these emojis can be seen by other iPhone users who have this same version of iOS. If they have older versions or have an Android, they will not be able to see them. Also added is the integration of Siri with GPT Chat so that things that Siri is not able to answer you can be forwarded to GPT Chat and with this you can have much more intelligent answers. Writing tools are also added so that the keyboard is able to extend your text, rewrite it, give it a more friendly, professional or concise tone, make a summary, generate lists, generate tables and more. And visual intelligence is also added which would be a kind of circle to search since through the camera you will be able to focus on an object or anything to search for it later in a store or do a web search. Also added is a feature called Image One that allows you to transform a simple doodle into a much more complex image in the Notes application. And with this update, not only US users will enjoy Apple intelligence, but it will now also be available in regions such as New Zealand, Australia, Canada, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. There are also some new features in the mail application that will now integrate different types of categories at the top to easily filter your emails and allows you to set by default new applications focused on email, messages, calls, browser and more. And in fact, for those who are part of the European Union, there are more changes such as allowing you to completely uninstall the App Store if you want to use another store, although this change only within the European Union. With this update is also finally activated one of the new features that Apple announced since the presentation of the iPhone would be that the voice recorder application allows you to record in different layers, very useful for those who like to compose songs and go recording their ideas.